I'm in a different park now. Hmm. Oh, ice cream. Good, good. Um, because after I talked to my new friends, I didn't even go in their RV. I was just next to it. And I'd held their cat. Yes, it was an adorable little thing. Um, I had cat hair all over me, of course. And I smelled like someone who'd been hanging out with 23 cats in an RV. So I drove away from their RV and then I was looking for a shirt. I knew I, that this one was out and about somewhere because it, um, I just washed it. So I found this, I look around, I don't see anybody. And so quick change, right? Real quick, no big deal. Then a car pulls up next to me. Okay, it's fine, I've already changed. And I hear her talking on the phone. She says, yeah, I've got someone. She has a little dog. Oh shit, did I just get the cops called for, please, I'm wearing a bra. And these titties are so big, you can't see nothing. That's just how it goes. Come on now. And this shirt is, well, you still see the straps and the cleavage like you did in the last one because it's summer and I have MS and I'm not going to wear the, you know, up to the neck, down to the wrist crap. So, ah, whew, there's a bug on me. But she kept looking out the window. So I kept like, okay, maybe I'm safe. Maybe she's looking at the other direction. Maybe she's looking at them. Or maybe she's doing that to like throw me off. Why is she like just, she pulled up after I changed. You know what? I'm gonna go. So I'm in a different park now. I'll let you know if spend a few nights in jail. Might get fed that way. Probably better than some of the nursing homes I lived at. Sadly. <laughs>